What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Brady Butner. Hello. We are going to be showing off some Unified Minds decks today. I have got a Dark Box deck featuring Electro GX, which can be used to accelerate energy into play and then moved around with our Weavile GX's Shadow Connection ability to try and attack with our big bad Darkness Pokemon like Greninja and Zork or Umbreon and Darkrai or Mega Sableye and Tyranitar Tag Team GX, hence the name Bomtar, an old deck from like, I don't know, 2006, something like that. Uh, very funny to see the idea reincarnated here in Unified Minds format. Brady, what you got over there? I have uh, Picaram with Raichu and Raichu. Choo Choo. Yep. The Choo Choo Train. The Choo Choo. There it is. Yep. All right, that's pretty standard. Yep. That's uh, one of the lists that I'm rocking with right now. Pretty standard fare. You got... Uh, Looks like you took the pads out. That is a no pad list. Wow. <laughs> I've got two versions of Picaram to test with. One version that runs pads, one version that just runs acro bikes. Yeah. I know. No pads. I know. No pads. <laughs> so sad. Feels bad. <laughs> but uh, it's all good. I think that version of the deck is actually very good as well. Yeah. It runs Vulcaner instead of pads, so that you can Vulcaner for pieces of the puzzle and really get in there with uh, your double custom catcher plays yeah. and things like that. So we'll shuffle up a little bit and see how we go. So far, I'll have to say the Dark Box deck has not won a game yet. Correct. Okay, uh, Brady and I have been working here for a couple of hours in the very hot studio, <laughs> sweating over this dark box deck. And I, I purchased these electrodes before the stream. I, I'm, you know, set on trying to at least win a game with them. You want heads or tails, Brady? Hey. Let's see, we lost to Reshiram Charizard 2-0. We lost to Breloom 2-0. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, that being said, though, you know, uh, the deck has worked. We've gotten a ton of energy in play. We've been able to move it around. The problem isn't that, like, we couldn't really heal anybody or anything like that. The problem with the deck is that our dudes just keep getting knocked out in one hit. <laughs> so, like, in order to combat that, we would have to play, like, I guess some sort of, like, choice helmets or maybe you could play, you know, really lean into... Mega Sableye, Tyranitar, and play some, uh, you know, buff padded or something like that, some knee pads. Yeah. I really don't want to do that, though. That just seems <laughs> super gimmicky, but uh, we are, we're giving this a shot, and if this doesn't work, we can always try the Naginate L version later, too. All right, so Brady getting a pretty good turn one here. Gotta love that. Tapu Koko in play. Picaram, Zapdos, Viridian to discard a lightning energy. And I bet you got a lily in that hand, too. I do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Brady's, Brady's ready to roll. A consistent, proven archetype. Peek around. Feels good. Is there no Dawnwings in this either? There is no Dawnwings oh. in there. It's just switches. Sad. I know. I know. That's the Dawnwingless version, but I do think that Dawnwings is very good in Peek around. I'm playing it in my order pad version to be able to get out of sleep and paralysis and things like that. I'll attach there, and then lily for six. Seems good. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yep. All right. We got an electromagnetic magnetic radar. It's pretty good. I'll discard lightning. I kind of like all these other cards. Oh, you're committed now, Brady. Uh, it's, I think I'm going <laughs> to uh, get rid of that. That's fine. The deck, uh, the deck does play three copies of Dedenne GX, so you can always just go get another Dedenne GX. Right. Usually the third one's kind of a luxury. Sure. Just to give yourself more draw options when you see it. Hmm. So that's nice. I've got kind of a jammed up hand over here, but the Viridian should help smooth this hand out pretty nicely, so I am into that. Viridian is another stadium that Dark Box would love to play. For sure. But you kind of have these other two stadiums. Giving your Dark Dudes free retreat is, like, excellent. And then also, um, you know, Black Market Prism Star seems pretty good, too. Mm -hmm. Though I'm not exactly sure that the math works out on Dark Ripper, you know, Dark Mar Black Market Prism Star. So we may end up ditching that card if it, uh, if it doesn't actually do anything for us. Got a comment in the chat that says, Super Scoop Buffs would work beautifully in this deck for healing. Uh, it is an option. My biggest issue with the deck, though, isn't healing our guys. It's mostly been just our guys getting knocked out in one hit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm going to pass. All right. 
three energy in play, that feels pretty good. And that was a perfect top deck for us. So we are going to use Pokemon Communication here to toss our Darkrai Prism Star back into the deck, potentially. Um, we actually kind of like the Darkrai Prism Star if we can manage to hang on to it. So I think I will chuck the... Who's the hardest one? Yeah, chuck the Electrode back into the deck. We've got Electromagnetic Radars. We can easily go get that back. And then I think we're going to get Ditto Prism Star here. I could use turn one Dark Moon GX, just prevent Radio from playing any sort of uh, trainer cards next turn, which would not be the worst thing in the world. But let's see. We've got no Ditto Prism Star. He is MIA. So it's looking like potentially Voltorb is going to be our dude that we search out here. Because, yeah, that, uh, that is going to be it. We only got one Voltorb in the deck. All right. It's fine. Voltorb, you better live through the turn, bud. That's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's just it. It's the reality of the situation. <laughs> so here we go. We'll shuffle up. I'm also going to use Viridian Forest. I think I'm going to be discarding potentially... Um, Custom character? Yeah, feels fine. Yo, what's up, Jesse Parker? Let's go, Jesse. Thank you so much for the sub there. Twitch Prime, eight months on board. Thank you so much. Everybody supports Tricky Jim with the subs. You guys rock. And uh, hopefully you're enjoying your membership there, Jesse. And we'll be seeing Jesse next week with some more games uh, featuring Unified Minds. All right. We've got Energy on the Umbreon and Darkrai. Bench another Umbreon and Darkrai. Lily for six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay. Not bad, but we need a Sneasel in the play. That old Pokemon Man. Thank you so much, that old Pokemon Man, for the Twitch Prime sub as well. Awesome stuff. Let's see, we will ditch that. Sure. I'm going to probably put the Dark Rye Prism Star into play with one energy. Play. Let's see. Hmm. We are in a tough spot here. I don't necessarily want to. Yo, what's up? Yummy Sushi with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, Yummy Sushi guys remembering your Twitch Prime subs. They don't auto-renew, so thank you so much for remembering. Now, I think I do want to just dig for the Sneasel here, which is uh, a little bit tough. Uh, in order to save bench space for the Sneasel, we would have to... Oh, we're just going to switch into this guy. Sure. I have to data change away my Greninja and Zork. I don't necessarily want to do that, but that's kind of what we're on right now, so I'm going to discard that hand and draw six. One, two, three, four. Five and six. All right. Well, sometimes the cup runs dry, Brady. <laughs> uh, we can get a ton of energy into play with this hand, but it's just not going to uh, not going to help us in any other kind of way. So, that being said, uh, I can thin the deck a bunch with an energy spinner and just go get three energy like that. And that way, you know, we have a pretty decent shot of actually top decking something good. We're going to get three Darkness Energy into the hand, sure. and then we'll Energy Spinner again. Three more Energy. But with no Sneasel down, this feels rough. And this is my reason for playing, I guess, like, I mean, look, our bench is already jammed. We don't even have a, uh, we don't even have a Sneasel down. Uh, to me, setting up all those Naginatels and the Weavile's just, like, a lot to ask for sure. um, of a deck. So we'll, uh, we switched. I could just Dark Moon GX, say no trainer cards. Then you could just retreat into Zapdos mm. uh, if you have a single Lightning Energy and do that. Um, but that's probably, probably our best case scenario here for just slowing you um, down enough. So we're going to go in with the Umbreon and Darkrai GX and just Dark Moon GX. Sure. So no trainer cards from you, right. and hopefully that disrupts your setup enough for me to draw out of this slump that I'm in. Can I bench this is Aurora though. Sure. Uh, I'm just gonna retreat 
copy to the Zapdos and pass it on over to you. All right, no energies. Sick. Okay. Oh, wait. Hmm, yes. We're going to need to poke a card for somebody different. All right, I got a Pokemon Communication, Electro GX. Sure. Sure enough, our thinning strategy did uh, kind of help a little bit. Let's get uh, to Dene GX. Now, I'm going to be throwing a lot of energy into this discard pile right now. A lot. <laughs> I mean, like, a ton. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got every energy in my deck in the discard pile right now. Really? That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. So let's uh, let's go ahead and attach an energy to my Umbreon and Darkrai, uh -huh. and then we are going to how many cards in that hand, Brady? Five. Five. That's fine. We're gonna use Day Day Change to discard all them energies. <laughs> oh yeah, that's just fantastic. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So now. We can get Electro DX GX into play, sure. um, and use could use extra Energy Bomb, which is cool. Um, I still do not have a Sneasel yet, you know, of course. Right. So that's cool. All right, we're gonna use uh, extra Energy Bomb, give sure. you two prizes, okay. and we're gonna get five Energy into play. And I get to put them on all the non-GX Pokemon I want, yes. a.k.a. Darker. Darker. Yeah. <laughs> so he gets to wear all of those. Isn't that just nice? That's nice. And then, since I don't really have a whole lot else going on, I guess I have not played a supporter card yet. And I believe I do have my other Weavile GXs in the discard pile, so we are just like clunking up hardcore over here. <laughs> Um, and just hoping, ultimately, that Brady does not have anything, which is just, like, not a, a good thing to hope. So let's uh, go in and take the knockout. Hopefully he doesn't knock out my Dark Eye Prism Star. He's for sure knocking out my Dark Eye Prism Star. Yeah, this deck's just too much of a Wombo combo there. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think I'm just going to retreat into that Umbreon and Dark Eye. Yeah. And just uh, pass it to you, Brady. All right. Sounds yeah. good. Uh-huh. Now we've got a ton of energy. We need to find a Sneasel, which has been M-I-A. I'm going to switch into Pikachu and Zephron. Sure. I'm going to put down the Thunder Mountain. Seems good. Let's see. I'm going to play these three Electro Powers. Oh, <laughs> yeah! That's awesome. Um, And then I will just data change. Sure. So you just need a lightning energy, and you could mm -hmm. knock this thing out. Uh, with three electro powers, you're using full blitz for 240 damage. Not yep. going to knock out one more e-power, and you can full blitz for knockout. And then we're really rocking and rolling here. If you <laughs> find a Volkner off that, you're in. I did not find a Volkner, but I did find a Cynthia. So you could go for it. Tag Bolt GX also is, like, totally fair. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to energy switch over here. Okay. So. He's Makes ready sense. to go if I have to tag bolt here. For sure. And then Cynthia. Yep. Definitely uh, feeling like I'm fighting an uphill battle here playing the dark deck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as much, you know, as you try to make the deck work, sometimes you just got to admit these engines, you know, are just not as consistent as the lightning engine as far as like a tag team deck goes. Uh, you need a lot more pieces Four, of the puzzle to kind of fall together to make it work. Okay. And you do things like missed attacks. You do things like... And you're trying to set up two stage ones. Every dark box deck's trying to do that. Right. It's not easy. <laughs> There's no nest ball in format. You yeah, know what I mean? For sure. There's no no basic search. It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just going to tag both GX. All right. So that's three prizes there. Uh, thank goodness we already blew up our uh, Electra, or else this would just be, you know... Bad news all around. <laughs> all right. So we'll promote our, I guess we're going to promote Umbreon and Darkrai. That kind of makes the most sense, actually, since we're going to try and attack with that. Sure. Draw for turn. There he is. Wow. Let's welcome go. welcome to the club. Let's go, Chad. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, hmm. Yeah. I guess 
because we know we we are out of energy in the deck. So I should probably promote the Dark Rye Prism, swing for 120. But then you could just full blitz it, and then I'm like for sure out of the game. So like, yeah, no, we're gonna promote Big Boy Dark Rye. <laughs> okay. Um, then we have to, you know, for sure reset Stampy to one. Sure. At least we get to do that. Yeah. That's uh -huh. cool. <laughs> and then I can cherish ball. Uh -huh. Take a look at the deck a little bit. We just are so far behind that it feels horrible. I really would like to use like electromagnetic radar or custom catcher to draw some extra cards here, but like we can't even in good conscience use to Dene GX because um, I need to hang on to the Weavile GX that's in my hand. So it looks like we could just be passing here, but I need to find like a way to keep him from, yeah, we're just gonna fail that. Feels horrible. Oh baby, have not put any damage on the board yet. <laughs> Granted, we've already GX'd in an attempt to slow you down. Yeah. Let's uh, custom catcher for one. Sure. Okay, I haven't played a supporter yet. There we go. All right, we're doing things. Let's go. I got Lily for four. One, two, three, four. Okay. I have got this now. Now we're cruising. So I will, I guess I reset stamped you to one. I countered your stadium. You might not have an attack. And we get to put you to sleep. Yep. So we're going to retreat and use Darkrai Prism Star's Abyssal Sleep Attack. You got to flip two heads in order to wake up. Heads, I would be so salty, Brady. I'm literally that's, composed that's entire, <laughs> entirely of salt right now. Okay. Um. Absolutely insane. Next turn, we're really cooking. Make some magic happen. If I come back and win this game, Brady, it's legendary. I'm just saying. <laughs> Attach here, and then retreat and hit you for 80. Okay. Feels pretty good. All right. Reset stamp. Let's go. All right, I will evolve into Weavile GX. He's here. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get Weavile GX up on the board. All right. Weavile GX, finally getting to move this energy around. I could take the obnoxious, like, you know, uh, how much energy we got? Three, four, five, six energy off my Dark Rye Prism Star. Then I can use Pokemon Communication and trade away the Sneasel here. And I think I'm going to go get... Other big guy, Mega Sableye and Tyranitar GX. Then we are going to Cynthia sure. and shuffle draw six cards. So we finally got the deck stabilized, but you know I've got six prizes to take to Brady's one. So that feels. Uh, How could I have won? Do you? Yeah, you could not have won. No. You don't have the stadium in play. Yeah. Yeah. There's and no I, way. Well, I don't have. Or energy uh, no, or tag bolt. You've already tag bolted. Yeah. 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 There's no way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, four, and five, six. Okay. So I will retreat this Dark Eye Prism using Nart, uh, Night City for our free retreat, and then it's looking like it's going to be a Black Lance probably. We're going mm -hmm. to use the Weavile GX's Shadow Connection, move a Darkness Energy there, and move probably like, you know, five energy to our Mega Sableye and Tyranitar GX, which is pretty insano because then he can use the take a bonus prize thing uh, -huh. uh and then we're gonna black lance and put 60 damage onto your peek around sure so we're finally on the board but we're really uh living on a prayer here i will drop a turn sure all right i'll energy switch up to here sure and then i'll data change oh boy this is uh Very not cool. it brady finds double custom catcher here or custom catcher Volkner. It is game over. So we do have a third reset stamp. If Brady somehow does not draw out of this, I might be able to find my final reset stamp to bring him back down to one card and then continue trying to sweep <laughs> <laughs> with our dark deck, which uh, has been nothing but temperamental <laughs> so far. Um, you haven't attached return yet, so you can commit right. an energy. But you also got a Mega Sableye Tyranitar out here just 
breathe it down your neck. Yeah, that's cool. Which is cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tag switch up to this one. Oh. Why? So that I can lily for an extra card. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. So, <laughs> I'm going to attach for check here. Yeah. And lily. Lily for three. Yep. At this point, the damage doesn't make a difference. Right. Because, you know, they're both getting knocked out by Mega Save Light Tyranitar. Right. Which is kind of insane. For four prizes. You know, which would leave me at one remaining, which is kind of <laughs> yeah. wild. Um, I'm just going to full blitz for 150. Okay. 150 damage. And we'll see if uh, we'll see if I can maybe dodge a knockout here. Do you have energy to accelerate? Yeah, I have a whole bunch. Six. Just um, put them on this one. Sure. I'm gonna draw for turn. Sure. So I am trying to just thin my deck as much as possible. I'm gonna use Cherish Ball. I'm gonna find Electro GX. I am going to. Pokemon Communication, the Electro GX for the Electrode back. Sure. I'm also going to Electromagnetic Radar. Let's see, how many cards am I actually going to have left in deck? Like, not a whole lot. Let me count my deck real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many custom catchers do I have in the discard pile? One, I think two. Two, three. Oh no, there's three. Okay, that's uh, a critical bummer. All right, we're going to electromagnetic radar away, Lily, and that. Take a look at the deck again. Not a whole lot in there. All right, <laughs> yeah, to be perfectly honest. Okay, so now we are going to attach an energy, and then. Did I decide how many cards? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess I'll custom catcher for one. And right, we're trying to just not lose the game. I need to reset Stamp Brady down to one again. Custom catcher to draw one card. And Cynthia. I'm throwing eight <laughs> cards back into the deck, looking for my one of reset stamp. And then I'm going to get to use Mega Sableye and Tyranitar GX. If I can take that knockout. With Greedy Crush, I will have a knockout on everything on Brady's board. And only one prize left to take. Let's see what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six. Never lucky, bro. You didn't find it? It's in here. That's insane. That's <laughs> horrible. Oh my gosh. Chat, we can't, we just can't win, bro. <laughs> we just can't win. I'm going to use the Night City for free retreat here. Um, and then, it doesn't matter, you can knock out Umbreon Darkrai. Uh, we are going to, I guess, play Black Market Prism Star down, though it makes no difference. And we will Greedy Crush for knockout, taking sure. four prizes and giving myself one prize remaining. But I assume that you have the custom catcher play here. I'm going to Volkner. Oh <laughs> no, chat. Oh, it feels so bad. It's now right here, bro. <laughs> it's right here. There's the stamp. And I'll play down another custom catch. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. coming out, and yeah. then you can finish it off. All right. Run it. Run that again, bro. Sure, sure. Run that. Run that again. I'm feeling like I'm inching closer and closer to victory here. <laughs> I think we could get there versus Pika Ram for sure. I just needed to find my one more reset stamp, limit him to one card. And we're going to have to play like eight games to win a game with Dark Fox, I think. <laughs> but I'm set on it for sure. It uh, feels good. Like I said earlier, guys, uh, we are going to be working on our Unifier, Unified Minds pre-orders uh, tomorrow. So make sure to stay tuned for those. They will be up this weekend. If you are looking to pre-order Unified Minds singles, Sean and I are going to be cranking that out tomorrow and getting those ready for the weekend. So that should be awesome. I'm excited about a lot of cards. There's a lot of great cards in Unified Minds. We have booster boxes available for pre-order now if you guys are interested in picking up one of those. And then Brady and I uh, are going to be back streaming tomorrow morning as well with some more Unified Minds stuff. All right, Brady. I'm going to go first. Sounds good. Dude, we're making it work this time. For sure. What about Sharpedo, Andrew, says Andrew Dacus? <laughs> Sharpedo? No. 
Dude, that guy works one time. <laughs> I think Sharpedo is definitely the worst of the three options to accelerate energy. Easily is the worst of the three options to accelerate energy. Uh, you, It's a one of. Yeah. Like, you get to do it once. Uh, if you whiff, that's unfortunate. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think the egg is good, and I think the electrode could also be good. Sharpedo, I'm not sold on. <laughs> right. I mean, I whooped up this list in like one second, right. and it's like doing okay. You know? <laughs> We've been close to winning a lot of games. It's right. not quite sealing the deal. Five, six, seven. Okay. Worst starter in the deck. There we go. I mean, Sharpedo, he's a bench hog, man. You're trying to set up all these stage ones. All right. Here we go. I'm going to draw my card, and I'm just going to get I'm gonna get rocking and rolling here. We need to get this show on the road and try to actually uh, win some stuff. So I'm gonna electromagnetic radar and literally just uh, just just fail it. Yep. Yeah. And then we're going to go in with a Cynthia, two darkness energy in the discard pile. Just using that radar to get those in there. <laughs> Sharpedo? No, dude. I don't think so. Like I, no. I'm not. I'm not taking the Sharpedo. <laughs> I'm not taking the Sharpedo. If Sharpedo got to do it like Blastoise where you look every turn, then yeah, I'd that'd be, be gas. Oh, oh yeah. And then, you know, we, would, we would just be building it like that. But yeah. one of, and then he sits there on the bench just to rot forever. Right. Like, I'm not into it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So I have Cynthia. We will put the Voltorb down. And then I kind of need to get this. Get this dude up and going. It's it's good though. We'll we'll just probably end up passing here. Yeah, just just pass. Okay. Yeah, this is this is what we rock it with. But you see how I mean? Like you can't multiple stage ones. It's just not gonna work in current standard format. Dankus, you haven't been watching long enough, bro. This electrode is gas, dude. It's insane. <laughs> dude, electrode is definitely not the worst, bro. Take that back. He's insane. He has so much energy to play. Gives up two prizes, but at least he's quick about it. You know, I mean, like Naganado, you're like slowly gonna give up two prizes trying to set that thing up. <laughs> at least, you know, Electro just gets it right out the way. <laughs> it's all right. Apparently, we got a lot of a lot of dark box experts in the chat. <laughs> all right, we got Cynthia. You know, shuffle draw six. Energy on the right two, a little right two. Worst thing about the. Uh, the deck is that it's just uh, it's just inconsistent. No matter which way you chalk it up, there's not enough basic search in the format. Dankus, it doesn't matter when you make them knock out two tag team DXs. That's the whole idea, right? If you make them take out two tag teams, then it's like, okay, you're still forcing them into an eight prize game, right. which is still pretty good. You get to reset stamp, and you get more energy for your buck than both Sharpedo and uh, Naganadel. Uh, Nag and Adel just felt like it's a, just a dark Nag Quag. I wasn't, I wasn't feeling that. I'm not into into uh, Nag Quag at all. It's just, uh, I mean, Malamar barely works. We've seen that, right? <laughs> Malamar barely works, and uh, and it is like the most consistent of the stage one decks. You only need to get one stage one into play. So, getting two stage ones into play is a lot to ask. I think it's one to retreat here. Okay, and then I'll pass. It's fine. Neither of us are having great turn ones here, but that's all good. I've got Electro GX uh, and Energy going down onto my Dedenne, and then I'm just going to Cynthia, trying to find some more basic Pokemon to set this deck up, see if we can't uh, get a little bit lucky. I mean, you could use Mysterious Treasures if you use the Naginadel. It's just uh, my biggest issue is just the lack of bench space, though. I mean, for real, the the deck just barely has enough bench space to function. So let's put Sneasel down as well as Ditto. Um, then we can Pokemon Communication, Umbreon, and Darkrai into the deck. Get ourselves a Dedenne GX, mm -hmm. and then I'm thinking that we are going to probably end up just using double custom catcher on your Raichu Raichu so that you can't, you know, do a turn two. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> and then we're gonna dead a change to draw six. Sure. One, two, three, four. 
five, six. Cool. So this next turn, we are going to be able to get some stuff into play with our electrodes. We could just guarantee it now, though, which I kind of like, because then, uh, you know, Brady can't just target down by one electrode GX, which is good. So we're going to radar for Dedenne. And I've already did a change this turn, but we get more darkness energies into the discard pile. And we can just use the extra energy bomb. So we're going to give up two prizes there to uh, to Brady. Go ahead. Huh. And we're going to throw a couple energies down on our ditto, a couple energies over here on our Sneasel. Sure. And then... Next turn, we are going to be rocking. But for this turn, I think it's just going to be a hot pass for me. All right. Yep. Start out with Acro Bike. Sure. Get rid of this Lily. Sure. Um, not a whole lot going on in this hand. Just a whole bunch of energy. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you have the Thunder Mountain? No. Oh, okay, to get a turn two Tandem Shock. That's what I was the most worried about. Um, I think I'll attach there. And then I'm just going to send it. Okay. This could be the game, chat. I'm feeling it. I think this is the game. Dark Box wins a game. Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps it is. <laughs> Perhaps it is. Uh, I really, I do like the draw engine of this version of the deck. I think that the, the radars and the Dedenes are the only thing that is like keeping us not drawing absolute trash. Yeah. It has synergy with Electrode. We get the energy into the discard pile. Uh, it's just a lot to ask in this current standard format to set up two different stage ones. We see with Malamar, the Malamar decks still have trouble setting up all of their Malamars consistently performing attacks every turn even though that has probably some of the most uh, <laughs> uh, two radars. Hate to see it. All right. Um. Oh, and then, that radar. Sure. And we're looking like we're going to see a day, day change, potentially. Um. I don't really want to take a change away a second electro power. That feels really bad. Especially since you know a lot of my dudes do have like a ton of hit points. Right. So. And I do have a supporter for next turn, so I'm probably just chilling, huh? Yeah. Maybe okay. it's maybe like another Zorora. That seems fine. And it's... I already have a peak on my hand. Just a just, just, just in case. Yeah. yeah. Right. For next turn. Right. Right. The preemptive to Denny, like me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we'll get there when we get there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's just not happening this turn. Right. Well, finish the other Zorora. Finish this picture in the deck round. Sure. Um, and I think I'm going to retreat. I'm definitely going to retreat. Just, who am I going to retreat into? Probably, I guess the Zorora with no energy. That seems fair. Fine. Yeah. Yep. All right, I will draw. Sure. And we are going to evolve our Ditto Prism Star into Weavile GX. Switch into Sneasel, just in case we find our stadium to retreat for free. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to Custom Catcher to draw one card. Hate to see it. Um, I feel like, yeah, wow. That's like the one card you didn't want to see off of the Custom Catcher for one. Uh, but it's cool. We're just going to let this hand rip. To Denny GX, get the Dark Rye Prism Star. There's no point in benching that thing. So, right. one, two, three, four, five, and six. How many cards in your hand, Brady? I have three cards. Three cards? Okay. I will use Energy Spinner sure. to get an energy out of my deck. I know you got a Dedenne in that hand, so that's pretty good. Then let's uh, put Umbreon and Dark Rye GX down into play and we could just GX you we've got an energy here switch so I get to move energy with Weavile GX and 
We use that uh, shadowy connection ability here. <clears throat> Haven't played a supporter yet. We've got a reset stamp. Not worth using the reset stamp, so we're just going to use Cynthia since we know Brady has only got a three card hand. Mm -hmm. We would ideally like to bring up somebody else, but we've already used our custom catcher this game. We did just burn a switch as well. But if we use Dark Moon GX, we do take the knockout here and then guarantee that Brady pretty much is not doing anything this next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, which is nice. I mean, that's kind of what we want to do. But the major game plan here is to kind of force Brady to knock out two tag teams now that we've got him to four prizes, which is what the Electrode deck is more or less trying to do. Right. It's just a question of, do we hit for 150? I mean, at that point, we can use Black Lance again and hit for a pretty substantial amount. We also guarantee that you're not going, and then I could snipe him on the bench if I Black Lance once. Mm -hmm. We can also, um, if we use Dark Moon GX, we guarantee that Brady is not going to be getting a um, an attack next turn. Because, you know, unless it was like Zapdos or something, which I'm like kind of cool with. Uh -huh. So let's move this energy, and I think we are just going to go for the uh, Dark Moon GX. Sure. And that means no trainer cards from Brady this next turn. We take our two prizes since we've got the six energy we need. And that way we do protect all of our energy that's in that one spot, which is really nice. And, uh, yeah, feels pretty good. So what you got, Brady? Um, I know you got Electro Power and a Dene in your hand, yeah. I guess, right? <laughs> Is, uh, I mean, even without you telling me, I saw you, like, acro bike yeah. and discard an electro power. And it's like, I know you got valuable stuff in your hand. Uh -huh. I know you got the Dene in your hand. So it's probably going to have to be a weird pass situation. Which you hate to see. Yeah, <laughs> you really do. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I guess. Oh, we'll bring him up so we can potentially tan up shock next turn. Or you could full voltage GX. Could for what? That seems so bad though. Uh, the classic full voltage for the single energy. <laughs> I couldn't see it. Yeah. Uh, or I could just deny away this hand. Looking for a Zapdos, I guess. Or like an energy, just uh -huh. to get something on him. Yeah, I think we'll do it. That's yeah, you fine. gotta have an energy. Yeah. yeah. To attach manually, if you just pass this turn again with only two energy in play. Oh. Did find a Zapdos and an energy. Attack my Zapdos seems kind of good. Seems better than just passing. Sure. For sure. <laughs> so yeah. we'll do that. Seems fine. But at this point, you have dished a lot of Electro Powers without playing them. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Two of them, in fact. Uh, -huh. <laughs> uh Yeah, so we'll just find ourselves off for 80. 80. Yep. That's good. All right, I will draw for turn. I have got an energy that I'm going to put on to Weavile. Let me see. My board is just like literally a bunch of, you know, just a bunch of Dedenes at this point. But that's fine. <laughs> that's kind of what this deck devolves into here towards the end of the game. So, uh,. Brady, how many cards are in that hand? There are four cards in the hand. Four cards in the hand. That's fine. Uh, I will attach the energy and move, I think, three energy over to, like, one here, one here, and one here. Sure. And then got, like, this weird situation where I don't want to... Let's see. We'll, we'll put Night City down, sure. and then uh, I can't actually, like, thin this hand down anymore. So we're just going to use Black Lance, I believe, and hope that you don't get everything you need there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we'll use Black Lance and then put 60 damage onto the Raichu Raichu and take sure. our prize for sure. But feeling pretty good about this board state. Still, even with an 80 damage, Umbreon Dark Rai in the active position feels fine and we could attack with anyone from Zoro Ninja next turn to potentially even Mega Sableye Tyranitar who could take bonus prizes I mean anybody who Brady promotes at this point who is a GX Pokemon is at risk of losing the game we got Viridian so yeah um, the thing is yeah you don't really get to paralyze me this turn right I'm also I'm what I'm really trying to do here is look for a Grom attack because he's the only guy that doesn't get one shot by the Tyranitar. Right, that makes sense. Um, so we'll get an energy. Right, but that's why. So like, you really would have to shake and bake all your energy over there to the Pikaram. That's why it damaged the Raichu Raichus because 
it is uh, the one that already had the energy on it. So I'm trying to chase down that energy. So you would have to find like two. double Just energy switch. switch. Double energy switch or energy switch tag switch. I do have energy switch in hand already. Okay. So I just need to find one more. Right. So you're going to bop that off the Raichu Raichu. Right. Or the uh, Coco Prism Star we haven't seen yet. Yeah. Oh, that's also true. And I do have a Calm in my hand, so he's like pretty easy to find. Cool. So we'll attach that there. The thing is, if I find tag switch, that like obviously doesn't work on Zorora. So like part of me wants to just retreat and do it and like I'm just gonna I'm just gonna retreat. We're gonna go all out on this one. All I think I, I think I have to do this. Right. If you retreat to anybody else, I mean it could just be game, so right. Then we'll away for five. Sure. One, two, three, four, five. Brady's nodding like he's got it. <laughs> <laughs> Brady did in fact get it. <laughs> um Okay. So we're gonna what's your magnetic radar? Sure. Oh, how much energy is down here? Like a bunch, right? Two, three. Okay, that's not a ton. Uh, we'll get rid of energy. Yeah, energy. Why not? Sure. Right. <laughs> All right. One, two. Oh, X. Uh. <laughs> we'll get rid of energy if you're gone. <laughs> yeah. so Brady, count the energy in his decks. Like, oh, we need to reconsider. Yeah. We'll get two Dedenes. Sounds good. Are you just thinning the deck, or what I are you? I am going to calm one of the Dedenes back. Ah. So. I do have to watch out for Brady's GX attack, which, uh, you know, could come into play here. He's about to take three energy out of the equation, which really hurts. But I do have some potential plays up my sleeve. I just need to finish the game off. Okay, so I've already attached. Yeah. Uh, we'll pop the Coco Prism. Sure. So one here. One here. Sure. And do you have an energy switch? Yes. He does. Um. So are you having to use Tag Bolt GX here? I'm gonna data change. Sure. I don't think I shuffle. Are you, or if you find double electro power, I guess, right? You can full uh, blitz. How much, oh, you have 190 left. Yeah. Oh, man. yeah it's I looking like it. a Tag Bolt GX to me. It might be. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Just tough, but could be fine. Two, three, And six. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, or oh, acrobike. Sure. Cards in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Okay. Sign between a reset stamp and something else. And electro power. <laughs> and electro power. Tough call. Yeah. Do you already have another electro power? I don't. But I do have double custom catcher, so if I electro power, I can knock out the Dene, and then blow up some energy, and then blitz. hope to tag ball for the next turn. Right. Which I think is probably the play. It would be interesting. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, like, uh, I don't know. You I keep three in a nine-card hand. That's a lot of cards in that hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. We're going to stamp you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's fair. I had a lot of sauce in that yeah. hand. Like, there was... I had the reset stamp ready to go for like the reset stamp you to one. Right. For sure. Um Yeah, we're just gonna full blitz. Full blitz for not a knockout. Right. Whoa! Didn't expect to see it. Alright. <laughs> it like it sets me up being able to tag ball for four prizes next turn. I, I see that. Probably like the only way I can win. Right. Which is horrible so. for me. <laughs> I needed you to literally do anything else. Right. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, and like, yeah, now you can't get Tyranitar in play to... I yeah. had a, you know what I mean? If, yeah, yeah, that's horrible. All right, so how many damage am I at? You're at... So you did 150 plus 80, so I'm at 230? Yep. That's horrible. I'm just getting finessed so hard. 
230, right? Yep. All right. Three cards. Fourth card. Oh, the Sneasel on my bench. Oh, you're ruining everything. Okay. Let's see here. We do have a potential energy attachment to the Sneasel. We're going to Cherish Ball, take a look at the deck. I need to calm you or, yeah, maybe, how many cards in your hand? Five. Five. Yeah, I probably still try to reset stamp you if I can. Um, and then I need to promote a non-GX, which is Sneasel. And then make you tag bolt for three prizes. Oh, no, you can tag bolt. Yeah. That's game over. I can't. I can't play around that. I've already used my GX. Oh, Black Market Prism Star. Uh, that would, that would do it. That would do it. All right, we need the Black, we need the black Market Prism Star, guys. Huh. That is just uh, that is the equation. Black Market Prism Star will save the day. What, it does it so that uh, a dark Pokemon has any dark energy attached to it? Qualifies. All right. That's him. That would do it. All right. <laughs> so that could be, like an energy spinner here. And I think I actually energy spinner and get an energy and then viridian that energy away mm -hmm. to thin the deck even more and we are digging for the black market prism star and a reset stamp i guess to shuffle brady to four cards that'd be pretty good otherwise we for surely just lose the game i don't have any sort of extra draw here i've already used my gx attack Playing with Dark Box is like playing on hard mode. <laughs> like, really constantly playing on hard mode, dude. Honestly. It's all good, though. All right. We're going to Lily for six. Sure. See what we get. One, two, three. Four, five. Six. You, you don't seem thrilled with that hand. <laughs> doesn't quite get us there. Uh, I can reset stamp you, but you've set up... Oh. I guess you yeah, only have four on the four. active. Yeah. Probably got a tag switch in that hand. Yeah, we're gonna reset stamp you. Sure. I think, uh, yeah, he probably had win in that hand, so we're gonna. He did not. <laughs> oh, well, you know, maybe he has it now. Yeah. Let's, uh, sure. At this point, taking three prizes is fine. We need you to clear off our bench space. I think we just uh, use Dark Lance, hit into the. Oh, wait. did I already? Yeah, I already use Verdian. I already attached return. Mm. Yep. All right. We have to Dark Lance. Sure. That's it. And where's the 60 going? Right here. Um, I or think it's going to go to the. Um, yeah, the right two. Sure. Seems like a fine place for it. Yeah. Sure. All right. I'll draw for turn. And I'll put down Thunder Mountain. Oh, I hate to see it. Energy switch. And that's game. All right, guys, <laughs> listen, we tried really hard. We were actually kind of close that game. Brady really yeah. pulled out all the tricks to finesse us out of that one. I felt like I did a good job getting energy into play. I was very close. Um, but that's like a hot, we've lost six games. Six, in a row. <laughs> six straight with Dark Box Electro GX. I just, uh, you know what, not totally sold on the Dark Box deck, but I felt like this is probably the most fun way to play it, if I yeah. had to say it. Uh, it felt explosive, it felt quick, I got a ton of energy into play uh, very quickly, but the attacks, you know, a lot of times they just don't quite do enough damage. No. So even with, I mean, that's an explosive engine, and we're talking, we got sure. some games we get eight energy into play on turn two, we, we get a ton of energy going, we got to use our GX attacks, uh, it's just, there's not a lot of uh, real uh, aggression that this deck can pull off, you don't get to hit for... Uh, you know, 300 damage like some of the other decks do. You have to rely on sniping first and then, uh, and then you know, clean things up for knockout. We saw against Rush Ram and Charizard, uh, he was able to use mixed herbs to heal the snipe shenanigans. Uh, we saw against uh, Picaram, they could take five prize turns. Uh, it's just, uh, yep. I don't know. So maybe uh, potentially if you guys think that uh, maybe your build of Dark Box is better, <laughs> that is fine. You know, uh, to each their own. I think that this is at least a fun way to play it. So yeah. let me know what you guys think. And uh, we will catch you tomorrow morning for some more Unified Minds tabletop games with Brady Botner. Thank Sick. you for joining us today, Brady. Yep, no problem. And you all take Thanks, it man. easy. And I'll catch you tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Peace.